What's up, y'all? It's Marlo, man. And I'm back again with another one. Hey, y'all hit that subscribe bell. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit the dislike hit the dislike button if you don't like the video. So look, y'all. This video is about Earl Spence has destroyed Mikey Garcia's career. He got this dude questioning his whole career, bro. So, I just got done listening to an interview with Mikey Garcia on, on, on Fight Hype with that girl, Michelle Phelps, I think, right? So, Mikey Garcia taught, I mean, Mikey, Gar Mikey Garcia ain't in no kind of shape, first of all. So, that Mikey Garcia ain't in no shape. Mikey, look, man, Mikey is in this interview. He talking about how <clears throat> it's not that easy for him to come back. And he's trying to see what everybody is offering, which is a good, you know what I'm saying? That's how you, that's a good way of doing business. He's trying to see what Daz is doing. <coughs> Excuse me. He's trying to do, he's trying to see what Daz is offering. He's trying to see what Top Rank offering. And he's trying to see what PBC offering. But listen, man. I don't know if y'all seen my video or not. I, I posted a couple weeks ago about, um, I posted a video a couple weeks about how Earl Spence took Mikey Garcia date, the month of the date, which was September, the fight date, and he took the venue, the L.A. Staples Center. Mikey Garcia wanted to fight Danny Garcia, right? He wanted to fight Danny Garcia at the Staples Center, the Mexican versus Puerto Rican. He won in September. Earl Spence took that whole shit. Away from Mikey Garcia. There's no longer an option for Mikey Garcia nor Danny Garcia. They can fight, but it won't be as big as it was supposed to be at the Staples Center. Or they, they have to fight somewhere else. And then all the dates is took. It won't be on pay-per-view either. Because Mike, because Earl Spence versus, Mike, versus Sean Porter. Pay-per-view is in September. And then while the pay-per-view is in November. And you can't do pay-per-views back-to-back months. So, with that being said... Mikey Garcia is confused, bro. He don't know what the fuck to do. He didn't got his ass pummeled. Look at this shit. 12 rounds, bro. He got the shit beat out of him, right? He got the shit beat out of him. We don't even know if Mikey Garcia will ever be the same until we see him in his ring, bro. First of all, we don't know if he going to be the same. He might not be the same. This dude got over uh, uh, three, four hundred punches landed on him alone. He took a beating in that fight, bro. He took longer of a beating. This dude raised his hand after every round like he did some shit. I mean, Mikey Garcia is a fake, bro. Mikey, Mikey fooled y'all, man. Had y'all thinking he a real dude. Had y'all believing all this stupid ass shit he was saying. I'm faster than him. I'm smarter than him. I, I got more skills than him. Yeah, shit. The fuck up. And Tony Harrison voice. Shut the fuck up. You ain't have shit. Mikey Garcia, fake, bro. This dude, fake. He played that old white supremacist mindset. Trying to act like he... He had the most fans and this and this and that. You ain't had shit, bro. I was there. Earl Spin has more fans in that AT&T Stadium than he did. And that's a fact. I was there. I seen it with my own fucking eyes. But look, though. This ain't what this is about. This about Mikey Garcia might be done, bro. He has nowhere to go. I mean, I feel like he should go. I mean... Listen, the 140, right? At 140, it's a WBSS tournament going on, right? These dudes got to fight each other. Regis, Josh Taylor, um, and, uh, and, uh, dude that just beat, uh, Mo Hooker, Jose Ramirez. So, them dudes got to fight each other. So, he, he can't fight neither one of them dudes. Them the best dudes at 140 right now. So, with that man said, he fought them, right? So, he can't fight Lomachenko. Lomachenko is the only dude at 135. You know what I'm saying? Lomachenko got a fight up, coming up. So, he won't fight Lomachenko. Who else will Mikey Garcia fight? Nobody. 
He ain't gonna fight at 147. Everybody tied up. Pacquiao ain't finna fight you. Think about it. If Pacquiao fights you, it won't be the 2020 anyways. And you ain't got no momentum. You, you have no momentum right now. Mikey Garcia ain't got no momentum. So that will be a dumb, stupid move to fight him in 2020. And if he do, Mikey Garcia going to get his ass beat. Again, fucked around, knocked out. Because he only fought one time in 2019. And you tell me he going to fight in 2020. Come on, bro. He'll get his ass beat, bro. So... Only person left he can fight is Danny Garcia. And guess what? I just explained to y'all in the beginning of the video why he won't be fighting Danny Garcia. Mikey Garcia is in a fucked up position right now. He took that Earl fight for that check. And he thought he was, it was going to turn out better. He thought, he thought, Mikey Garcia thought he was going to have the up on the business side. You know what I'm saying? After his fight with Earl, he thought he was going to be up and up and up. He thought it was going to be up on some Oscar De La Hoya shit. He thought he was going to boost up and, and everything. But no, he really got embarrassed and humiliated. He got humiliated. Bad. So look, man, I just wanted to let y'all know that, man. Mikey Garcia, I think he done, bro. He might be done, bro. Earl Spencer fucked over his career. You heard me? But yeah, that's that, y'all. Hop in that comment section. Let me let me know what y'all think. And for you dudes that like talking shit in the, in the comment section, man, keep talking that shit, bro. I like that shit. I'm out.